Hello? 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 Hi. Hi, how are you? It's me. Hi, I'm here. Hi. No. Oh, I'm really tired. Oof. How are you guys doing? <laughs> no. Uh, me and the car are streaming on Twitch. Dot TV, the internet streaming service. All right, cool. Hey, okay. yeah. Well, I mean, everybody's always like, "Hey, how's the car doing? What's up with the car? What's new with your car and stuff?" Um, so I just thought, well, clearly everybody just wants to like see how the car is doing and see a picture of the car and everything. So there you go. I put a picture of the. Uh, car instead. Oh. Did I get a haircut? Yeah, look at You can still see the forehead shine is there. So the sun sort of hits the forehead of the car and ah, it's like quite quite a shine. Anyway, um, yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm back. How are you guys? It's been a while, right? Oh god, it's been like, what, two weeks? been like two weeks yeah oh, I can't stay for very long sadly I can probably do like an hour or so because uh, you know the car <laughs> I have to drive the car in because I have to be able to get back home like really quick uh, so um, you know I have to pay like um, for parking and shit like that so anyway we'll play this for a bit Apparently people said I was really bad at this. I felt like I was really good at it. But anyway, we made it to 10 years in the Evening with Sips episode. So um, let's see if we can do some more, shall we? Yeah, why not? I kind of remember what to do with this, sort of. Uh, am I going to play Fallout 4 if I get a chance? Absolutely, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance. The problem is, is that... I could have gotten uh, early access actually, um, but I wouldn't have able, been able to do anything with it because I've only just sort of come back. I wouldn't have had time to record or edit anything around it sort of thing. So I opted not to get it. Um, and then it comes out tomorrow. Well, it unlocks tonight. I'm not going to be able to like start playing it and getting into it because of yeah, the way everything's going right now. Um, because I'm only in here, well, I haven't even been in here consistently. I came in on Friday for like a couple hours and just batch recorded as much as I could in those couple hours. Um, and then today, I've only been in for like an hour or so, a little bit more. Um, just because everything is like okay at home right now. And it's going to be like that for probably a couple of weeks. Um, it's going to be sort of uh, a little bit hit and miss and stuff and then uh, after a couple of weeks once we get all settled and stuff and the new baby is like sleeping better and things uh, I'll probably be back in like sort of full time doing stuff streaming again and whatever man there's so much coming out this week though it's crazy isn't it it's nuts like there's so many things to be excited about uh, at first actually at first I wasn't like overly excited about the Hearthstone adventure um, like I thought it was cool that it was gonna be coming out this week so the first wing is uh, this Thursday um, and it should be okay I think that the problem with Hearthstone is that the way that they develop it and you know the way that they design cards and stuff you really um, you really start to notice how far ahead they plan for. So like this um, League of Explorers thing that's coming out on Thursday, they probably, you know, designed it and built it like months and months ago before they knew that like Secret Paladin was going to be like the top tier deck in the current meta and whatever else um, they have. So it kind of sucks because there's 45 cards coming out and none of them seem to be up to up to the task of actually countering anything um, that's like super viable at the moment. So like that in itself is a little bit disappointing. However, having said that, the solo adventures are really fucking good uh, and very fun to play. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, definitely. So there's going to be four, four weeks, uh, four wings, but because of the American Thanksgiving, it's like going to be two weeks of releases, wing releases, then a week off and then two more weeks of wing releases, and then a total of 45 new cards 
that you get from that, all of which you'll never use in constructed competitive play. <laughs> well, I say that. You might be able to. You never know. But anyway. Yeah. They've actually added a new secret for Paladin. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Um, and it's the one that, that punishes you for building, like, a big board as well, right? If you already have four minions and that secret is in play, it'll just kill your fifth minion, regardless of what it is. Which is pretty strong, actually. But, having said that, uh, how often do you have a big board against secret paladins? Not very often, anyway. So, is it a secret that is going to be used a lot, or, or what? I have no idea. But, I mean, that's the thing. That's what everybody's saying, but things, like, will work out, right? I guess, you know, people will find ways to use these new cards and stuff like that. Like the Brands Bond, Bronze Beard, the Bands, Brands, Bron Bran, Bronze Beard uh, Legendary seems kind of cool. Um, you know, like how it, it doubles up on the battle cries. And like some people are saying that that might be a good thing for rogues at long last. Maybe rogues will be like good. But then having said that, like a lot of people are saying that rogues are terrible and that you shouldn't be playing them on ladder or whatever. But, you know, competitively, obviously, like the two finalists um at at the world championships both had oil rogue decks uh, in their list so it's like i don't know it's i know like tournament play isn't the same as like ladder play but still it just goes to show that like you know those guys who are very very good at playing pretty much every deck um, still rate rogues so there you go is this a ramble yeah it is fuck i haven't been i haven't been on for like two weeks i feel like i have to like talk about stuff maybe i don't actually Maybe I can talk about stuff while I do Zero Exterminator. Oh look, I got the two green things on the Octoplier Suite, but not on the Tripler Room. Apparently I did this one horribly inefficiently, but I mean, I still did it, right? Anyway, this I love this kind of game. I like the kind of game where you just sort of progress through, kind of like Polybridge, right? You go like all the way up. Can I actually do, what's this storage floor? Why is this one like Midnight Petroleum? Fuck, I don't even know. All right, Zero Exterminator, year seven. We've gone back in time. Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, do people still ask that at jobs? Where do you see yourself in five years? Like, what if you're like planning like a radical fucking makeover? Like, what if you're like, well, uh, actually, I'm glad you asked me because uh, clearly right now you can see that, um, you know, I'm just a regular, normal looking 35 year old man. But actually, in five years time, I plan on spending all of my life savings to make myself look a lot more like Denzel Washington. So in five years time, what you see now is not what you're going to have in five years time if everything goes according to plan. What the fuck would they say then? If you got to your job interview and you said that and they were just like... Maybe they think fucking Denzel Washington is the best and they just think, holy shit, I can't wait for this guy to become... Maybe we have to invest in this guy now so that in five years time we reap the benefits of having... Denzel Washington on board in our company. So, maybe. I don't know. Uh, is this for the same guys that made the fire game? Yes, it is. What was that game called? Like Little Incinerator or something like that? Little Inferno. Little Inferno. It's the same guys, yeah. Where did you see yourself in five years? Okay, I answered that. Or ten years! Holy shit. Well, in ten years, clearly I'll be like an aging, wrinkly Denzel Washington after my five-year plan, my first five-year plan comes to fruition. The following five years will just be me aging gracefully into older Denzel Washington. I have a note here from your other boss that says, From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Uh-oh, what a treat. Alright, can you actually see this stuff or do I need to like reposition my... Please tell me I don't have to fucking repos- Okay, fine. I'm gonna fucking reposition myself. For Christ's sake, God. Why? Look, I'm just gonna move myself all the way down to, like, here. Oh no, that's gonna go right in front of, like, the codes and stuff. Maybe I should go, like, up here? Maybe I should go, like, down here? Maybe here is good. You think this is, like, good? Right here? I'm not gonna be in the way down here, am I? I'm gonna put myself, like, right here. Okay. Fine. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. I shouldn't be in the way of anything there. Unless uh, these things start to expand out like crazy, then I might have to move myself again. Look, there seems to be tabs up here as well. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright, send all things that are not zero to the outbox. You only got- you got a new command. It jumps only if the, zero, the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Oh, okay. Fine, that's great. Alright, so... What we want to do then is, um, we want to go to the inbox 
first, right? Uh, we want to... Wait, send all things that are not zero to the outbox. Oh, that's easy. So we go to the inbox, we grab whatever it is, uh, and then we say, uh, if zero, we jump out, right? So we jump out of our loop if it's zero. But if it's not zero, then we carry on doing stuff, right? Jump if zero, jump to here. We'll jump to there if it's zero. If it's not zero, we'll carry on doing stuff inside here, right? So uh, I guess we'll just go to the outbox and then we'll jump back up to here, right? And then if it goes there and we jump to there, then we want to actually jump. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work at all, actually. <laughs> Let's try anyway. Okay, what is it? It's an eight. Perfect, okay? It's a zero. All right. Hey, look, it works. It fucking works straight away. Look, it is incredible. I mean, it doesn't really make a heck of a lot of sense. What? You chuck the zero away? Fine. A seven? Perfect. And chuck the zero away. Yes! Oh, man. Size challenge. Oh, wait. We used five commands? What the hell? Oh, my God. Wait, there's an easier way of doing this one? That's fucking bullshit. Oh my god, you could do it in three lines. Well, <laughs> I guess I could, probably. Should I try to do it in three lines? So I used... You could do it in four or fewer commands, I used five. So much like Polybridge, I feel like I have to complete this, like, perfectly. Like I did in Polybridge. Jump to the beginning. Alright, let's try it. These challenges can be very difficult. Alright, fine. We'll go back. Alright, so, with the inbox, we jump to the beginning. Oh, hang on. Can we do it without this last jump? Hang on a second. So, we jump to the start there, we jump to the start here, but we jump out there. But actually, this is like kind of redundant, isn't it? Do we even need this one? So, hang on a second. So, we jump... If it's zero, we jump to the end, and it's just gonna come back up here anyway, right? So, we now have four lines. Can we do it in three? So, let's see if it works. We have to see what he does with the zero. Oh shit. Okay, so if it's zero, it jumps to here, but it does nothing with it. Oh, I see. So do we actually want to, like, jump back up and go to the inbox? I think that's what we want to do, actually. Is that right? So we got the four. Okay. The zero. Yeah! Alright! We did it in four! Alright, that's better. Okay, we'll take the D. We don't... <laughs> you took the D. We'll get rid of the zeros. It's to the minus three. And the zero... There. Okay, we did it in four. Did we do it perfectly? Use four fewer commands. We did it in four. 23 or fewer steps. We did it in 23. Alright, perfect. We've done it. Zero exterminator. Year seven. Complete. Oh man, that's satisfying as shit. Okay, hang on a second though. Busy mailroom we did not complete. To the best of our ability. So we have to go back and complete it. Or should we actually, hang on. Should we do this this way or should we come back after? Well, I mean, we did this whole rung though here. I mean, we could go back to this one. I feel like I want to do this, okay? Sorry guys. I hope that this doesn't bug you too much, but I really want to get this perfect. Yeah. Perfecto. The D. I know. That's fucking great, isn't it? Yeah? My apologies, you can't do it in three. That's alright, don't- you don't have to be- you don't have to apologize for that, that's why. Um, great. So, um, oh my shit, holy- hang on a second, before I start, we have a we have some action on the- fuck me, holy shit, okay. Oh, actually, it's gotta be said as well, there- some people actually donated while I was away. Reginald Tango Man and Rix. Both donated uh, for nappy funds uh, and Twitch paid paternity leave, uh, which I thank you for very much. That's very, very nice of you. You didn't have to do that. That was 12 and 9 days ago. Um, uh, and more recently, we have ZZs, who has resubscribed for three months in a row. We have Hammerpoint Interactive, who has resubscribed for 17 months in a row. Uh, Layla underscore W, who's resubscribed for two months in a row. Yuri53122 is resubscribed for four months in a row. Pug Wampy, 
has just subscribed for the very first time. Thank you very much. GI Jojo has subscribed for the very first time. Thank you very much. Uh, Efficiency has resubscribed four months in a row. Silly uh, Bloki has resubscribed six months in a row. I Inabs resubscribed two months in a row. A O L F Sun has resubscribed two months in a row. Butterfly Ghost resubscribed six months in a row, and Chompers has resubscribed seven months in a row. Thank you very much, all of you. 17 year subscription. All right, what was this one again? Grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one onto the outbox. Okay, I did this one inefficiently as well. So, hang on a second. We don't need this jump, right? Because he's just going to do it anyway, right? It's not... Jumping back up isn't going to do shit, right? I lie. How the fuck do you do this in less than whatever? I don't even get it. Stop and reset. Inbox, outbox. Jump. So we do it in three. Wait, so is there a better way of doing this one? Let's speed it right up. Look at this. Bong, 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 bong. Okay. This is the solution we had last time. Okay, so what's the deal? The size challenge. We did it three. Yeah. Perfect. Speed challenge. 25 or fewer steps. We did it in 30 steps. Well, how the fuck? Your best complete... Your best completed in 30 steps on average. But it's 25 steps. Measures the number of commands and blah. Fewer is better. Average computed by testing your solution against many deterministically generated input sets. What? Well, how do I make this, like, uh, even better than it was, though? I don't get it. Like, what? How can it be? It, it's depending on how many of those come out, right? So, like, is there actually a way of taking it down? Grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one onto the off box. What the fuck? Can I take, like, more than one? At, at once and then step over you can't be both in the same run what really maybe you need to unlock more commands to complete that oh maybe you might be right actually but I mean we have unlocked drag commands to learn more I mean we have unlocked further commands up the chain but they don't apply to this one you can only use these ones in here so that can't be right so how do we do it then? How there's one, two, three, wait, how many how many are there altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Twenty-four. This should be twenty-four though, right? Three and so how many steps did we complete in? Thirty. What the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Steps. Oh, but then you have to add this one as well. So it's actually 24. And then another 8. Was it 32 that we... I was not I was kind of paying attention, but not. No, without the jump. Oh, I see. No jumps, just inbox, outbox. So it's only two, two steps per operation. But the thing is, if without the jump, he'll never loop back to the start. See, like, watch, I'll show you. I take the jump out. He'll only do it once. And then that's it. So we need something else to say, you know, go back to the inbox. I mean, we could just do it like eight times. Well, sure, look, we'll try it without the jump and see if we can complete it this time. So how many do we need? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. This is ridiculous. Six. Okay, let's try this. Wait, no, that's never gonna work, is it? Well, wait, is it though? Seven. Okay, eight. Okay, so how many operations is gonna take 16, right? Okay, let's try this. One, two, three. Wait, hang on a second. That was a different one. Wait. Hey, no, no, no. What the fuck? Oh, hang on a second. Oh, look, it changes. Like, the word changes every time. So, now it's an initial... Oh, I see. Okay, so we can use the same one, but we just got to get, like, a boot, se boot sequence? Boot sequence. Boot sequence. Initial boot sequence. 
What's that? Load pro. Load pro. Load program. So that would have been even more. Because it's a huge word. Boot sequence is not going to work either. Boot sequence will not work. That's not going to work. That one doesn't work. That might work. No, it will not work. Seems like we're going to come up short. But, actually, I think we still have some room here with... How long are these words? Hang on a second. And how many things does this do? Fuck this. This is so dumb. Okay, let's try boot sequence. Wait, how long is the word boot sequence? <laughs> oh shit, we were short by one. Okay, fine. So 23 and then 24. Okay, let's try this. You ready? Boot sequence. Can we get it? Okay, so how many steps did we take? 25? I just got an achievement for that. The size challenge we failed. But the speed challenge we... Okay, so if I continue the elevator now... Oh, hey! I did it! Okay, so you have to have... Sometimes you have to have two different solutions. You can't get both at the same time. That is the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. I got an achievement for doing that as well. Yeah. Did you like that? That took far too long? Yeah, I know. Scrambler handler. Alright. I'm I'm all about dedication. What was this one again? Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. Got a new command. Oh yeah, this is the one where... Fuck. I can't even remember how we did this, actually. What happens? Oh yeah. That's right. We copy them. I see. I found this... I thought that this one was like kind of efficient, actually. But maybe not. What was... So where did we come up short? Use seven or fewer commands. We use nine. Complete in 21 or fewer steps. We use 27. So this was not efficient at all, actually. We didn't get a single green light for this one. Right. So we have to copy... Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reversed order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. All right. So what have I done here? So I go to the inbox and I copy whatever I pick up to zero. Then I go to the inbox and I copy whatever I pick up to one. Oh, and then I copy from one outbox, copy from zero outbox. All right. Okay. So is there any way that I can actually like move some of these commands into like... Uh, no. Inbox, copy, and then... Back to the inbox. Copy to one. That has to be like that. Copy from one. And then go to the outbox. And then copy from zero and then go to the outbox. This is what I like to do when I'm thinking. I like to go... Four and five? People are saying remove lines four and five. Um... But if I do copy to one, it's kind of... Okay, well, let's see what happens. If I take those out, what happens? Four and five. And replace them with... Okay, so the two goes there. Oh, I see. Oh, of course. Oh, I get it. Right. So we don't copy two, so that saves us. And then we take the Y. Okay, Twitch chat, you win this time. That's fucking really clever actually all right the five and then the four goes on and we've done it in less steps did we get it yeah we did seven or fewer commands we did it in seven speed challenge we did it in 21 fuck great there you go we did it yeah this time we always win come on you don't always win jeez I mean, I used to do development, but I'm a little rusty. It's been years. I mean, all this time playing games on YouTube. I've been doing stuff on YouTube for like four years. And I haven't done any programming since I started doing YouTube stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty rusty. That's my excuse anyway. Maybe I was never very good. <laughs> Rainy summer. What was this one again? We're about to find out. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Oh yeah, you got a new command. It adds the contents of the tile on the floor to whatever value you're currently holding. Oh yeah, okay. So this one was the... Is this similar to what we had last time? So 
For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. Okay. So, we're copying to zero. We're going back to the inbox and we're adding to zero. And then we're copying that to one. And then I don't think we need these, actually. I think we can add and then just go to the outbox, right? Will that work? So we can throw away the three. Yeah, it does work. Okay. So let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, that was pretty inefficient, wasn't it? Doing it way that this way last time. Okay, we've done it. So the size challenge, we hit. And the speed challenge, we hit! That was easy as hell, wasn't it? Rainy summer year six. Double green lights, motherfuckers. That's all it took. Uh, the tripler room is probably the same thing, actually. It's probably much the same. The octoplier suite, I don't even know how we managed to get the two things on that one. Or I managed to. Let's try the tripler room. What was this one? This is where you have to triple the values, right? So we're going from the inbox and we're copying to zero and then we're copying to one and then we're adding zero, adding to one and then... So we didn't get any lights on this one, right? It was because we have to triple it. So we're going to the inbox and then we're adding to zero and then adding to one. We're copying to zero and then copying to one. Okay, so I think we kind of have to do that to triple it, right? Actually, let's see how this works. Okay, so we get the three, we put it there Oh yeah, and then we add it again. But it leaves the value, right? So, shouldn't we actually just say copy to, hang on a second. So it puts the 7 in the 1 there, and then it, it adds it. And then, so actually, instead of copying to 1, I don't think we need to copy to 1. I think we could just add to 0, and then add to 0 again. So we can take out one thing, right? Does that work? So we put the 3 in, we add it, and then we add it again. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Beep, beep. Alright, so we managed to take out one command. Use 6 or fewer commands, we did it. Speed challenge, 24, we did it! Oh, all we had to do was take out that one redundant command and change the add 1 to add 0. Okay, fine. All right, so far so good. We haven't done the tetra contiplier, but tripler octiplier, and uh, this should be super easy to do. Actually, you just have to add it like what tetra is like. I don't even know. Does anyone know? How's my baby? She's really good, actually. She's fine. She's getting into like a good routine, uh, ish. She feeds like every three, four hours, which is pretty normal. She goes through raw milk. Uh, but then sometimes, like, uh, consider every copy to stack a constant, okay. Uh, she, um, she, she's, she's alright, like, sometimes she'll just, like, sit there and have literally one drop of milk and fall asleep. It's really cute and everything, but, like, at three in the morning when you're, like, really fucking tired and you really wanted to have, like, a full dose of milk so that she sleeps longer, it's not the best. But, uh, she feeds, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, but yeah, no, she's, she's doing good. She's really good. Is she laying to the left of me? No. No, she's not. That's my phone. I still have to check my phone just in case, you know, like, just in case I'm, I'm summoned. I have to run home for whatever reason. But, um, but yeah, no, she's fine. Will I be streaming Overwatch at some point in the coming weeks? Yeah, I will. Actually, I wanted to say some stuff about Overwatch. Actually, I wanted to say some stuff about BlizzCon too, but maybe it's like not the time. Because I'm playing this. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Tetra Contiplier. Zero Preservation Initiative. Overwatch is great. Um, I really, really like Overwatch. It's fun. Um, I was lucky enough to get into the beta as well, which is really good. There's a lot of people that were really salty about not getting into it on the uh, subreddit and stuff. Um, it's an awesome game. It's very polished. Uh, it's everything you'd expect from Blizzard, right? Uh, it's very fun. It feels like it's really com like finished and everything. But the problem is, and you know, like if you watched like the BlizzCon interviews with like uh, with with Metzen and um, Kaplan about it, and um, you know they're talking about because it it's it you, you it's forty bucks, right? You have to buy it. Okay, so they're releasing the game with 21 heroes. The game costs 40 bucks to buy. Um, and you 
it, it, it's 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 pretty much come about where everybody assumed that it would be the same sort of thing as like Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends. It'd be a free to play game uh, with cosmetics and other shit that you can buy, or even worse than that, paywalls. Um, but they sort of turned around. They said, no, it's not going to be like that. So that's fine, you know. Pe like some people are okay with spending money on a game. I mean, well, most people are. You know, forty bucks, twenty-one heroes. The the way that the game plays, you have to be, you have to have all the heroes, right? So you have you have to have all the heroes because they want to promote this idea that you constantly have to change your hero. You don't constant, you don't have to, but there are hard counters for other um, p heroes, right? So like, you know, if somebody is playing uh, like Bastion on the other team and he's he's camping a spot or whatever uh and you don't have for whatever reason this never happens but you don't have like a tracer or a reaper on your team somebody will have to switch to be a tracer a reaper and get in behind bastion and kill him right and that's like a hard counter to bastion so they want everybody to have all of the heroes so that you can do that kind of stuff because that's the kind of game it is right um and that's fine and, and everything's cool the problem i think i have with overwatch right now and why it wasn't really thrilling for me after seeing the stuff they were talking about at BlizzCon was that they've got this huge fucking boner for like the universe and the heroes and the stories and they're gonna make a comic and they're gonna make short stories around all the heroes and stuff and I just think that like that stuff should come later I don't think you should front load your game with that and I know a lot of people are really really excited about that but I want to play a game <laughs> I want to... Strife just had a 1,000 pound donation? Fuck, that's insane, actually. Um, I want to I, I want to play a game. So, with Overwatch Beta, it plays a lot like TF2 without all of the uh, stats that TF2 has, right? So, you never feel like you're progressing in, in, in the current beta. And th those systems aren't in place yet, and they're apparently coming and stuff, but they're not there now. So, there's no, like, there's no... There's nothing to work towards. You just play like these five, ten minute games after game after game after game, and it's very fun and it's exciting, and you try out all the heroes and stuff, and then you're just sort of like, well, now what? But there's there's no XP, there's no unlocks, there's nothing to work towards. The the stats you never get to see how other people did. The plays of the game uh, sort of are centered around multi kills, right? So it's like uh, Widowmaker might get like five kills uh, in, in the space of like three seconds uh, and that'll be the play of the game so there's there's not a lot of like incentive on that front to play support or whatever it's very rare that a support player will get featured in the play of the game sort of thing and then there's like this thing at the end of a match where it shows some stats of what uh, other people on your team did but not all of them so you never really fully sort of like feel that like I don't know you're getting like anything out of it it's, it's really weird, uh, and it sort of put me off that they didn't speak about any of those game systems at BlizzCon. Like, everything was just, uh, you know, the, the lore and the characters. And, like, I like lore and the characters, but, um, oh, shit. Um, Cranky Cakes, thanks for donating 200 pounds. Sips, you perfect bastard. I've missed you so much. I'm so glad you're streaming. Congratulations on the new baby. Here's some diaper money. Wow, 200 pounds of diaper money is a lot of money cranky cakes thank you very very much shit uh pull me finger thanks for subscribing as well uh sam the sock thanks for subscribing kevin little 73 uh thala musen and toyasaur thanks for resubscribing for two months and four months respectively thank you very much anyway